All right, this is my 1991 Honda Civic Si hatchback. It runs good, pretty good shape, straight body, good paint, and it has B16 dual red cam VTEC motor. Also runs good, got about 40,000 miles on the motor and tranny. Car has 167. Got a uh, new struts, uh, skunk two struts with uh, coilovers. Let's see what else it got. Uh, new exhaust. It's a fairly quiet muffler on it. I'll go ahead and start it up. It's got the Acura Integra Fat Five rims. Back tires are pretty decent. Front tires were used tires that I got from a friend that I put on. They're like drag radials. Not the greatest tread in the world, but they get you around anyway. It's kind of cold out here, so it's running a little idling high. Uh, I'll go ahead and take it for a ride. So a quick shot of the motor. Motor mounts fits in there pretty good. Intake, no big deal. Nice and smooth. Quick shot of the interior. Kind of hard to see, but pretty good shape. Except for the headliner, it's got some rips in it. It was like that when I bought it. Somebody used to put a lot of stuff in the back of the trunk, I guess. Uh, and over here, small little tear in the door panel. Other than that, everything's in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Except the uh, Passenger seat is in perfect condition. It's a, it's a Honda SI seat uh, underneath the cover. It's all in good shape. The driver's seat here that I'm sitting in, I have a 90 Eclipse because the driver's seat was actually broken when I bought the car. I leaned back and had to drive home from Miami like that. It was real fun. Uh, so I put it in this Eclipse seat and I uh, just put the covers over it uh, just so it looked alright. But I do have the other Eclipse seat so that could go on the passenger side and take the covers off and have decent matching seats. Uh, I got a Sony, uh, whatever it is, explode deck with the uh, USB thing in it, which is, comes pretty handy. Uh, only real issue with the car is the uh, steering rack is a little worn out. It's kind of hard to see here, but it's got some play in it. Yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's not so bad, but you can kind of feel it when you drive. And the, uh, the axles, I came with the swap. Uh, the new, brand new axles, but something was a little up with them. And they kind of make noise when you turn. It's mostly because the intermediate shaft is the wrong one. It came from a uh, automatic Acura Integra, and should have came from a five-speed. The junkyard I got it from gave me some false information. They said that they're all the same, but apparently the automatics and five-speeds a little bit different. So this one's not in the greatest. It makes some noise when you turn, but it's all good when you go straight. So uh, I wanted to fix it, but I haven't had the money. The only reason why I'm selling this car is because I'm needing money right now. I've been bad at work for a while, and I'm sure everybody out there knows how it is. A lot of people do. Anyway, I'll take it for a ride, and I'll let you see how it is.
Not so bad. Needs to be fixed. I mean, I would have loved to do it myself a long time ago. It's just I haven't had the money for the intermediate shaft and new axles, but it's a pretty cheap fix. I mean, buy yourself some new axles. Hell, these ones might even be good if you just change the intermediate shaft. I don't know. I've seen intermediate shafts on eBay for 60 to 75 bucks. Uh, probably get them even cheaper if you found them in a junkyard somewhere. Just one of those things. Uh, well, that's it. Um, cars for sale. I'm trying to get 3,000 out of it. I got a lot more than that invested, and uh, I'm really hurting up for money right now. So, only reason why I'm selling it. So I got to get as much back out of it as I can. But I do need another car, so if anybody out there has a 94 to 98 V6 5-speed Mustang that might need a little bit of work or something, I'd be interested in that because uh, I could easily fix that up in the future when I get on my feet again. So if somebody's got a 94 to 98 Mustang with a V6 5-speed, that's you know maybe faded paint or you know a little minor fixing up things, we could work something out swap cars plus a little bit of cash depending on what your car is worth so uh, email me or I'll put my number on the video uh, give me a call and see what we can work out alright thanks a lot